Hi, I'm Stu Miniman, and this is a special on the ground at the 16th annual and final VTUG Summer Slam. We're here in Maine, and happy to welcome back to the program a CUBE alumni, Pumala Schmidt, who is a senior cloud advocate with Microsoft, uh, but you know, a very active member in the communities here, uh, one of the keynote speakers that we had. Pumala, uh, so great to see you. Thank you for having me. Uh, and you are representing. We've got the uh, Lobster Fest tonight. And yes, you Lobster have Dress. One of your Lobster Dresses on. I hear even there might be a costume change before this evening. There will be a costume change with lobsters and clams. So, yeah, I'm a big lobster fan. Well, you were definitely on point with the couture there. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, you, you were right in the mix. Uh, you know, love the, the, the keynote themes this morning. Uh, I think Josh Ashwell did it well. He said, you know, hey, uh, how many people here, are, you know, IT operations and like it's most of the audience. And how many years have you been doing it? And it was like one year, two year, and the, the over 10 was most of this audience. And of course, we know there's a lot of change going on in this industry, but, you know, companies and individual careers don't necessarily keep up. So, you know, give right. us a little bit about, you know, what you've been working on, you know, what you see in the communities out there. I mean, you're, you're definitely right. Um, companies are, you know, struggling to keep up the, their staff. It's, it's tough. There's so much technology out there. You don't even know where to begin. So what I've been doing this past year is just helping the community get up to speed, helping them figure out what they want to do. Because there's the cloud. What do you want to do in the cloud? Here are some options. I mean, there's just I speak to so many people, and they're like, we hear about this Azure thing, but what can I do in Azure? You know, where can I go learn? And it's it's all good stuff. So that's pretty much my past years. Here's what you can do. How can I help you? get to your ultimate goal of just knowing more and leveling up. Yeah, so, you know, I, I think back to, you know, when I was learning in college, it was, you know, getting together with a group of people was one of the best ways to learn, uh, you know, who had been through the class or who could you help work through this. The virtualization community was one that worked well together. Uh, you know, yes, these they user do. groups were ones where, you know, people would get together, they'd all write blogs about it, uh, and, you know, cloud has been a bit of a transition. So, you know, what, what, what's the same, what's different about cloud than, say, what we'd seen in the virtualization communities? So, cloud is fearful. People fear their jobs because they feel like, okay, the cloud is going to take away my job because now I don't got to manage this infrastructure. And you know what? That's not entirely true. You're still going to need people to manage these systems. You're still going to need people to manage the applications. Someone has to govern it. Someone's got to click the buttons. Yes, it's not on your premises data center, but there's still machine out there running because serverless doesn't mean there's no servers. So we have to dispel that belief or that myth that you won't have a job if you go to the cloud. Yes, there's some organizations that have reduced some workforce, but ultimately there's still jobs out there and there's actually more jobs, cloud-related jobs, security focus, a compliance focus uh, that deal with the cloud because you know if you look at the headlines now, each day, I'm gonna swear, there's always somebody having a data breach, they're being fine for doing something not correct with their data. And so there's, there are jobs out there. So our, you know, the IT staff, the IT operations space, our, our sysadmins, it's taking that fear out and here's what you can do with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you bring up some great points there. Uh, we understand, look, there are changes happening in jobs. Mm -hmm. If you think you can go with the same skill sets that you were doing years ago, you probably need to update. That being said, there's nobody that I talked to that said, hey, if I could give you an extra hour or an extra day in the week, do you have other things that you have to work on? Absolutely. You brought up security is something that you know needs more of our attention, and it's not all going to be you know robots and automation taking care of it. People plus machines need to work together, and therefore, yes. there, there's a lot of ramp. It is early days for all of us in this, so what can I learn? How can I make sure that I'm value for my organization and ultimately, you know, have a longevity in my career? Another thing that I've been finding in, in, with speaking with people is that they just don't have the time. They're like, oh, I'm just so busy at work. We're, we're, you know, we've downsized and we're expected to do more with less. I totally get that. I've been in their shoes. But ultimately, your career, you own that. The company you work for does not own your career. So it's up to you to make that effort to just learn a little bit more. It, it goes a long way. And I'm seeing a trend now with um, IT professionals. They're, they're getting it. They're like, you know what? Yeah, we, we need to step up. We, we need to figure out what to do next because technology is moving so fast. And if we don't 
keep up, we won't we, we won't have jobs. You know, you're you're going to be outdated. It's got it's got to keep moving. Um, you know, Josh's keynote, perfect. Matt's keynote, perfect. Co technology is constantly evolving. So you, as the IT professional, we must evolve too. We must evolve with our technologies. You know, it, it's it's a circle. Yeah, Pumala, you can bring up some great points. Uh, we understand there are only so many hours in the day, and yes, there needs to be some work-life balance, but you know, oh, we yeah. need to take control of where we are going and what we're learning. If I just get kind of you know, stuck in my same old way, you are building that rut for yourself as opposed to breaking yourself free. Uh, I want to give you a, a final word. You know, what, what, what other tips do you give people? How do they make sure they kind of break out of their you know, existing you know, environments and you know, some areas that they might uh, be able to easily uh, you know, start understanding what options are available for them uh, in the future? The internet, <laughs> that's, that's the easy way. Um, MS Learn, we've got learning portals for um, you know, um, professionals that go out, testings, we've got different labs, there's plenty of blogs out, there's user groups out there, you know, go out to your local user groups, meet up with people, go to conferences, I know they cost money, but there's free ones out there, network, LinkedIn, find a, find a good network, and it, it, just, it just expands from there, and social media, you know, there's a lot through social media between LinkedIn and Twitter, you can do so much and uh, learn so much from other people. Yeah, you, you bring up some great points. We've talked to you at some of the big shows like a VMworld or a Microsoft Ignite, and not everybody can afford the time or the money to do those, but there's meetups in your local environment. There are user groups usually that can do that. So, mm -hmm. you know, reach out and find your community or online. There, is, there are just so many environments. Thank you. Lots, oh. of form, lots of forms. There's so much out there. And, you know, reach out to me on Twitter at Exchange Goddess. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll point you to the right. Direction. Absolutely. Uh, and Pumala, thank you so much. You've helped introduce our community to, to lots of different people. So Exchange Goddess yes. of Twitter. Of course, I'm at Stu on Twitter. And uh, we're here from the VTUG SummerSlam 2019. Uh, be sure to check out thecube.net for all the events we're going to be at, as well as if you do the search, you can actually find some of the historical interviews that we've done uh, with guests like Pumala and many more. I'm Stu Miniman, as always. Thanks for watching the Cube. Oh.